Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's a beautiful month of December and the news is start coming in very interesting things. So, a toy has unveiled a tool called Sculptron and this tool is actually a GPU based sculpting animating tool which you can use to actually sculpt things like caches and you can also use this tool to sculpt animation. Animation in the sense that when you sculpt a simple object, you can go ahead and play with the entire, you know, uh, timeline that exists in this particular tool. And you can kind of keyframe your model. In a sense, you're actually sculpting animation when you're working with this. It's a very, very simple tool to use for now. And it actually makes use of GPU to do exactly what you think you would like to do in ZBrush. Now, this tool actually supports OBJ and also MDD files. And the MDD files actually make use of points and that kind of make a lot of sense. Now, the tool itself is not a replacement for ZBrush. But on the other hand, it just kind of works alongside with tools like ZBrush. And primarily this tool is created for animation workflow, which makes me remember some very interesting tool that we've also looked at before, the Mosh 3D. Link is going to be in the description so you guys can check that one out. It makes me remember a tool that was once featured by the guys at NewTek, which is also known as Chronoscope. And this shouldn't come as a surprise because the guy that was actually responsible for the original Chronoscope, which was once featured by NewTek, the previous owner of Lightwave, now works with Otoy and you know, he posted this announcement of the Sculptron Alpha on the community and this kind of makes a lot of sense because it's pretty basic you know to understand that the way these two works and the way the other one works kind of look alike now there is also some very cool stuff that Otoy the makers of this tool have also talked about and these are very very simple they've already listed out a couple of roadmaps owing to the fact that this tool would be a potentially good tool in the future i kind of see a huge potential with this tool so with that said let's get right into blender create susan the monkey let's subdivide this a couple of times export this and bring it over to the tool so that we can look at it we're going to talk about the pricing and other things once they are out because right now these things are not available the only thing that's available is this actually runs on a gpu i tried it on an amd laptop and didn't work so let's try this tool and see how it works by default once you open up this this tool this is definitely what you're going to get so you're going to see that the entire interface looks like this very simple we're just going to rush through this just to make sure that everybody gets an understanding of how this thing works and then we can go on from here so if i just simply drop dock this thing here it's very very simple we're going to do a full review once this tool is available for right now we're just going to take a look at the entire thing so you can see that your the way you sculpt is actually interesting you can see the entire push and pull this is where the entire thing stays if you want to actually you know play around with how you want to dock this you can actually dock these things depending on how you want so I definitely like the whole you know the whole freedom that exists with this one other things that you can do is you can just punch this up bring this directly here and you know I would like to get this one here so let's just try out one or two things just to see how it works now there's a feature that comes with ZBrush it just showed up with ZBrush that has to do with history right now this thing actually exists with this one so how you can work with that is pretty simple so I'm not going to use the whole pool thing all right let's just use the whole pool thing so for your brush to increase your brush size you need to you know hold down your right click which i'm going to do that and you can use the right click to increase and reduce your brush size so if you're using a pen tab this is definitely going to be easy for you to get your feet wet or your hands wet with this so let's move over to something else and we can choose the clay so let's just go ahead and pick the clay and if you're thinking about your alphas yes they do have opportunities for you to play with alphas directly from here so you can get that here from here you can select the three types of alphas that exist and they have to do with you know noise and you can work with that so with this here i can now go in and paint this oh you're thinking about uh, symmetry right now I can I can hear you yes so you can do symmetry at the same time so symmetry at the same time is something like this but now I don't really like what we're working with let's go ahead and import Susan the monkey and let's take a look at what we can do with that so importing Susan the monkey is gonna be cool so I'm going to hit on import and then I can just click here bring in Susan the monkey and booyah you have Susan the monkey directly there now I don't want this to be visible so I can just turn off enable just make sure it's not there now there's just one thing about this tool that doesn't make sense for me right now and it has to do with the whole thing that you cannot transform 
right now i don't know if it's just me but you cannot transform this and i really want to you know maybe move this somewhere around i cannot do that i cannot do that because this is in beta so we don't need to blame them for that they might probably fix this later all right so i can just simply dock this here Go over to volumetrics and let me show you what you guys can do so if you want to get your volumetrics so if you want to get your volumetrics you want to get volumetrics i know you like volumetrics so just hit on just select the object that you want and you have that you have that really really cool so i can just you know come here and you know play with this yeah and you can start seeing what we have so i can punch this all the way up punch this all the way down let's refresh this bad boy one more time just to make sure that we have everything there of course we still have this bounding box here all of these things are still in their beta form right now so there's just a very limited amount of things that we should be expecting from them and you can still go in there and increase the amount of sample so in case you want to make scope changes now there is one thing i talked about earlier in the video where i said that you can literally sculpt your animations here you can actually get your mdd animations bring them directly in here and change it but before we talk about that let's just go ahead and play with this so i want to sculpt this animation right now i don't know what i want to do but let's just go ahead and play with it so i'm using the push and pull we can also choose to use the grab although they've also talked about the grab brush you know kind of misbehaving for some time the grab brush seems to be a bad boy right now but it's going to be fixed over time there's also something which i noticed which i would have to tell you guys just in case every time you hit on the new button you might probably have to restart the whole thing every time you install this software you might need to go to the directory to get it because it does not actually register and put it on the start menu these are just things and pegs that that are just there right now so just in case you're wondering so i can pick up the grab brush right now and i can actually okay come on symmetry yeah and i can start sculpting this so the minute i push down you can notice we have a keyframe i can go all the way to 10 and i can choose to say susan the monkey i think it's about time you close this pretty little mouth of yours now this is actually wobbly i don't like it so i'm just going to you could see that our symmetry gets broken that's one of the things they talked about yep so i can actually get susan the monkey to kind of be silent for a while she's shouting she's saying help me please all right so we can have susan the monkey just be quiet as it is there's no pinch brush that should have done a very good job but right now we don't have that so susan the monkey is quiet at this point and you can see we have this keyframe so i can slide from here if i click here i can slide from here all the way to this point from here all the way to this point if you choose to restore a certain point you can come back to here click on the restore button and you have that so now we can do a very nice stuff so you could literally notice that we have a symmetry problem something that is definitely going to be fixed over time also check out the other tool which we talked about before and for that other one i seem to have some likeness to it which is mosh 3d and the, one of the cool things i like about mosh 3d is you can actually paint jiggle you can paint jiggle on an entire simulation and it actually accepts alembic and i think if the guys from you know a toy wants to actually take a reference at something that they can work with they should take a very good look at the mosh 3d i know this right now is actually simulating what chronoscopes used to look like but then if they can take one or two you know tips and tricks from mosh 3d and if mosh 3d can also take one or two tips and tricks from these two i think it's going to be you know really really cool we're going to cover more details about this later once this tool becomes very very okay i just want to bring this to your attention that there is a brand new tool out there which you should actually consider looking at and just in case you want to try this this tool is here for you right now this tool is not available for mac as it only is supported for windows and yes i think it's about the whole metal thing but obviously over time with the way Autoy is going i think they're also going to create another version of this tool for mac as soon as possible and still looking at this tool there's a couple of things which i enjoy for one of them it has to do with the ui the ui is very very cool I like the whole clean thing you know you have everything you want to walk around here you can just simply start off without having any idea and the ui looks really really cool next thing which i enjoy with this tool is the fact that you can just come through and add different animation layers this is actually 
something that I haven't seen in most other apps. The fact that you can add in several animation layers, you can come over here, you can choose to create a layer and you can actually animate a whole different thing directly on top. So it does have this addictive method of adding animations on top of the mesh which you're sculpting with. The idea of having pen pressure is also something really, really cool that I like. You can still add keyframes, reduce keyframes. The matte cap section here also works. Like you can toggle through the matte cap that you have here just to have a field day of, you know, a couple of things that you would like to play with, especially when it has to do with how your object should appear on screen. And I think this is also something really cool. Now, for some reason, I get to figure out that you know you cannot really import the um obj sequence right for some reason the obj sequence just doesn't really work out for me that much but of course you can export these things as a uh, vdb sequences from here once you go over and convert this to volumes and of course if you're working with volumes or if you're working with vdbs you know that the channel name is something you have to look at and at the same time you need to make all of those changes and pretty much it, this is like a very clean tool a proper review about this tool is going to be coming up very very soon i just want to bring to you guys notice that this tool exists so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course of course if you like this video you learned something from it you, you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and share this with your friends and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace